What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about two ways to simulate wires and cables inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so there's really two ways that we can do this. I know there's a lot of different uses for why you might create wires and cables, but one of the issues that you might run into is you don't just want to use something like the arc tool, right? Like you could draw an arc in here um, and it could kind of simulate a cable, I guess, but um, it doesn't necessarily give you quite the results that you're looking for. So there's two extensions that we can use in order to create these more quickly. So the first is in the extension warehouse, you can download the wire tool by Aurelius. What the wire tool is going to do is it's going to allow you to generate these accurately um, hanging ropes between multiple different points. So the way this works is you can download this from the extension warehouse and load it in. But then once you do that, you can just go to extensions, draw wires, and actually there's also a toolbar in here that you can toggle on if you decide that you want to do that. But the way this works is you can basically click between two different points like this and it's going to simulate a wire, right? So pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, but one of the cool things about this is you can also adjust it by typing in different things. So for example, let's say I wanted this wire to hang lower, right? Well, what you can do is you can set a fixed arc length by typing in a value. So let's say I typed in a value of like 15 feet like this. Then I move my mouse real quick. Notice how that's going to draw a wire that drops down 15 feet. So you can use this in order to set that, or you can also type in a number um, and a percentage in order to set the arc length. And so what I could do is I could use this to draw a cable between two points, right? So let's spin this around, pick these two points right here. So you can also type in a percentage. So for example, if I type in like 120% like this, and one thing I'm noting by the way, is I type in the value of 120%, but then I have to move my mouse and move it back in order for that change to get incorporated in here. So click again, click again. Let's say I typed in 150% and then move my mouse and moved it back. Now notice how I get more of an arc in there. So this is basically just calculating. Um, it's basically calculating the length of this arc like this. Now you can also, and this is pretty cool, um, you can actually, and I'm going to offset this in, and push pull this up a little bit just so we have another place to do this, but I'm gonna draw a cable like this but notice how, and I'm going to type in maybe like 110%. So it's not hanging quite so far, but you can also type in a number and S to change the number of segments. So instead of this being kind of the clunky number of segments it is right now, right? I could type in like 24 S and hit the enter key. Then if I move my mouse, notice how this gets a lot smoother. If I typed in like four S and hit the enter key, it's going to get a lot less smooth. So you can use this in order to set how smooth your segments are going to be as well. So this is great for generating um, hanging cables like this. One thing that you might think about is you might think about using the free extension from TIG that you can download from Sketchication called Pipe Along Path. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to create a pipe along the path, right? So if I click on OK, what that's going to do is that's going to generate this pipe. And so you can use that to generate something that's not quite as um, that's not quite as wide too. So I could type in maybe like, let's say the outside diameter of this is maybe a quarter of an inch. You can use this in order to generate that just like this. And so you can use this in order to quickly generate those pipes along the paths. You might also try the lines to tubes extension that you can find on there as well, because you can only do one at a time with pipe along path. So this is great if you just want to generate cables like this. Um, these actually look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, but let's say you wanted to actually more simulate the way the wire would work. All right, so I've got this 3D warehouse model that I've downloaded and it's got a computer on the surface like this, right? And so if we tried to use that wire and cable tool right here, it wouldn't necessarily do what we want because um, if I move that from here, to here, it's just going to drop through the face of the desk. So it's not actually giving us that more uh, realistic result. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to make my ground bigger real quick, is I'm going to use another extension. I'm going to make this a group. I'm going to use another extension called Clothworks. 
And so we've talked about Clothworks before. Okay, so Clothworks is an extension that you can download from Sketchication. I'll link to it in the notes down below. Um, it has both a free and a paid version. I believe you can use the cable simulation piece as a part of the free version, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. But basically the way that it works is it's a tool that actually simulates the way that cloth works in SketchUp. Well, you can also use it to make objects colliders. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to make this a collider. I'm going to make this a collider right here. All right, so all I'm going to do in this situation is I'm just going to draw a line out of the back of this object right here. And I'm just going to right click on it and I'm just going to divide it into a bunch of segments. The segments is important um, and I'm going to do maybe like 48 segments or something like that. Segments is important because this needs that extra geometry to actually calculate um, what this would do in the real world. But I'm going to make it a group. I'm going to make it a cloth. And so one other thing that we need to do is we need to make sure we pin this end so that it stays in place like this. Then and I'm going to save first. All right, so then I can select this, I can click on the play button, and it's actually going to simulate the movement of that cable with the cloth physics. I can also click and drag this around a little bit, and then when I'm done, I can click on the stop button, and it's going to stop that simulation. So notice how I've got this like realistic cable in here. Well, then I can just come in here, and I can use pipe along path again. And I want to make sure that I actually double click in here in order to do this, but now, we're just going to generate a pipe right here so this actually has a thickness. So if you do want to do any kind of like simulation of cables, this could be a great way to do that. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know how you're creating cables in SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. I'll link to tutorials on both of these extensions on this page in case you want more information. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.